Hi, Lars Christensen here, part of Autodesk marketing team. Let's do a quick inventor tip. Let's talk about direct editing right inside of Inventor. And if you're not really familiar with this function, I might just be introducing you to your new best friend. Now, not only does this work great with imported models, you know, Inventor does a fantastic job bringing in Katia, Pro-E, and SolarWorks models, and this direct editing tool can make design changes on those models very easy. But even native created Inventor models, this is one of my favorite functions. So what we are talking about is this button up here. And, you know, I don't think that I've ever designed something without a manager having some kind of a better idea than mine, and you end up getting something like this. Those good old PDFs. All right, so keep the same length, but move the bars five millimeters. Got it. Now, making some of these changes might be easy enough if you actually model up the part, but that's not always the case, right? So what you might do is you go over and you start investigate the feature tree over here, right? You can roll back and you can kind of like break things down, figure out how things are, are modeled. And we can see here that um, the first feature is actually these two round cylinders, and we can go in and edit the sketch. Now, some of you guys maybe already start thinking about how we can get around this. We can do maybe some projection geometry, but this is where this direct edit really is awesome. Now, you have a couple of options in here. So you can actually choose if you want to do faces or if you want to do solids. So this is a solid. So I'm just going to click on these two solid bodies here. And if you hit the arrow, you can see that as soon as I start moving it, that I can actually move those solids. But I can also type in that change of five millimeters. So now, um, well, now we just direct edited that. And if I right click, we can actually move all the way down to the bottom there. Um, and look at this. We just made that change. So this is a legit way to work with parametric models, what we just did. No editing the sketch. Matter of fact, I will argue that this is a better way to do it than going in messing with the sketch. Why? Well, because first of all, you can just go back in here and edit things. And second of all, now there's actually some kind of a history in the feature tree of what we did, right? This direct edit is almost working as a you know, reminder that we move things around. And, well, if you don't want it, you can just always right click and delete it and you're back to where you started. So a very quick way that you can make, uh, you can manipulate a model like this. Now, another example could be something like this. It's the same model, but instead of shifting everything down, we really just got to move some faces to kind of like make this design change from 17 millimeters down to 12. So back to our model here. Now again, I'm just going to go up and hit this direct editing tool and I'm going to select faces this time from the drop down and I'm just going to select the outside of the cylinder, the chamfer and the front face and go over and of course select the same on the other cylinder. And by the way, if you by mistake like I do here select the front face, you can actually just hold down shift and re-click it and then it will go away. So that's a little tip within a tip. Now, I really would like to use this measure from function because that would actually give me the same dimensions as that was displayed on the drawing with the 12 millimeters. But the dimension measure from comes from the triad, but you can actually move that one. So if you hit this locate, I can actually move up to the, the front face and place the triad there. And now when I select measure from and I click that face, I can now type in our 12 millimeters, keeping everything true to what the drawing actually displayed. So again, a quick way to change, you know, some geometry uh, on this model. So what do you think? Pretty cool tool. I think that uh, this direct editing tool is definitely one of my friends when it comes to making these changes. And like I said, it works with important models, but also if you gotta make changes to other people's models, it's a very quick way to make these changes very quickly. And it is parametric, so you know you can roll back and all that good stuff. I hope you liked it, and until the next time, have an awesome day.